for Doppler and M mode, let me first change my preset, which you can do during a regular exam. If you want to change your imaging mode, just hit the probe button and you can choose a new preset. So I'll go ahead and choose vascular and it's ready to go. So if I get my image, and just throw something up on the screen there, I will choose this PW up here. It's going to give me my Doppler line there. I can use angle to adjust that and I can do press angle to do my angle correction and you see that your angle is displayed up here. So again you push it down and you'll steer that whole beam and you'll get your angle correct right there. You can use the trackball to adjust the position of that gate and you'll push enter to change the size of the gate. You'll click update to enter into pulse wave Doppler mode. Here you have your baseline where you can adjust your baseline, the sweep speed, PRF, your pulse repetition frequency, we'll change the scale there, your wall filter, if you want to invert it, flips upside down, and everything else would work very much the same where you want to save images or save the entire clip or just choose a portion of the clip to save and then you go ahead and hit that save and then you can just unfreeze and hit B to go back to regular B mode M mode works very much the same way you're just going to hit the M button and you're going to get your line and it's going to be a split screen up here you can choose the layout to change how it appears on the screen change your speed down here oddly the lower numbers show higher speed and the higher numbers show a lower speed your chroma map to change the color the 2d map for your M mode you can see that change up here your grayscale is just going to change the grayscale for your M mode gamma is just an overall brightness of the image and here's that layout again for different ways of looking at it.